Welcome back to the Transform Your Mind to Transform Your Life radio and podcast. This is Life Coach Myrna Young, and you're listening to 5-Minute Fridays with Coach Myrna. Today, I want to talk on the topic, the difference between change and transformation. Now, in a world that's constantly evolving, the term change and transformation often get interchangeably confused. However, They hold distinct meanings and carry different implications for our personal growth, mindset, and overall life journey. Understanding the difference between the two can help us navigate our lives more effectively, enabling us to make decisions that lead to lasting, meaningful progress. So let's look at change first. What exactly is change and how do we define it? Change is often seen as an external process. It involves altering something in our current situation, whether it's a habit, a behavior, or something in in our environment. Change can be small, large, temporary, or permanent. And it often focuses on improving or fixing a particular aspect of life. For example, deciding to eat healthier is a change. You might swap out junk food for fruits and vegetables or start drinking more water instead of sugary drinks. This change can improve your health, but it's largely surface level, right? And it's a surface level adjustment. You're modifying certain actions or behaviors, but the core of who you are remains largely untouched, right? So change is necessary and it's important. It helps us adapt to new circumstances, solve problems and grow in various aspects of our life. But it's often incremental and doesn't always lead to deep long lasting effects. So for instance, you know, I might change and decide to eat healthier because maybe I wanna lose a few pounds, right? But after I've lost a few pounds and I no longer have that goal, right, I may go back to eating junk because I did not transform my mind on it. I just wanted to change for a certain outcome. So let's look at transformation because we coaches love transformation. We don't want to coach somebody to change for five minutes. We want them to make lifestyle transformations. So transformation is a profound and fundamental shift. It's an internal process that affects not just your actions or environment, but your entire way of thinking, being, and experiencing life. When you undergo a transformation, you're not just changing a part of yourself, you're becoming someone new. Transformation is often driven by a deep realization or an awakening. It's the moment when you recognize that the way you've been living or thinking no longer serves you, and you commit to complete overhaul. Unlike change, transformation isn't just about tweaking or improving. It's about creating something entirely different. For example, a transformation in your health journey might involve not just changing your diet, but also fundamentally altering your relationship with food, your body, and your mindset around health. Instead of simply eating healthier, you start to see yourself as someone who honors and respects their body. The shift in identity leads to sustainable long-term health habits because you're no longer just forcing yourself to eat better. You become a person who naturally makes healthier choices. And one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you about this transformation versus change journey is because I was listening to Pastor Dr. Jamal Bryant of Newbert AMA in Atlanta a few Sundays ago, and he taught a message that brought this home. He says, a man can change for a few months if his wife threatens to leave him. But unless his desire for the thing that she was leaving him about, like cheating, being disrespectful, you know, gaslighting, and all those bad things, unless the desire to do those things is transformed, 
he will just return to his behavior like a dog returns to his vomit in a few months. The change will be temporary. So he has to change his desire for those things. When someone puts something in front of him that he would normally run after, he says, no, nope, not for me anymore. That is what transformation is. It is permanent. It is not temporary. Hope this brings us home for you too. So let's go a little deeper on the differences between change and transformation. The first thing is depth versus surface. Change often happens on the surface level. It's about modifying specific actions or behavior. Transformation goes deeper, reshaping your identity, your beliefs, and your perceptions. Temporary versus lasting. Change can be temporary or fleeting. You might change a habit for a few weeks, but it doesn't stick. You revert back to your old ways. Transformation, by contrast, tends to be more permanent because it's rooted in fundamental shift in who you are. External versus internal. Change, office fo change often focuses on external factors, changing your job, moving to a new city, or adopting a new routine. Transformation is more internal. It involves a shift in your mindset, in your values, and your self-perception. The difference is also incremental versus radical. Change usually is incremental, involved in small steps or adjustments. Transformation is radical. It's a complete overhaul of how you think, feel, or act. And you can get up from meditation and be transformed within an hour. You know, it is like radical. It is like jumping off a cliff. It happens immediately. So why does this distinction matter? Understanding the difference between change and transformation is crucial because it allows you to set appropriate goals and expectations for yourself. If you're always if you're only looking for change, you might focus on specific actionable steps to improve your life. But if you're seeking transformation, you will need to dig deeper, addressing your core beliefs and mindset that shape your actions. As a coach, we're always looking for transformation. So let's talk about this cheating man. I mean, if he believes that, you know, his family is the most important thing and he actually changed his core beliefs on that, it will not happen. It will not be because, you know, he's going to change for a few months because he's afraid of losing his wife. And when he no longer afraid or he thinks that she's forgotten about it, he's going to go back to the same thing. But if he's actually transforms his beliefs about a real, what a real man is, uh, how a real man treats his family, or he finds God, <laughs> then the transformation will be permanent, right? So in conclusion, transformation can happen immediately, but sometimes it requires more time, effort, and introspection but it also offers more profound and lasting results. While change can improve your life in many ways, transformation can lead to a completely new and fulfilling way of life. So embrace both. You might wanna change something for a short time, but you might also want a deep transformation because that's where happiness is, right? So both change and transformation are valuable and they often work hand in hand. Some changes can lead to transformation over time and transformation can inspire change in various aspects of your life. By recognizing when you need change and when you're ready for transformation, you can navigate your journey with more clarity and purpose. In the end, change helps us adapt, but transformation helps us evolve, right? And when you embrace both, you unlock the true growth for potential and fulfillment in your life. So I hope that you were inspired by my topic today. I hope that maybe you recognize in yourself some areas where you can change and some areas where you need radical transformation, like drop off transformation, right? So 
Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Five Minute Fridays with Coach Myrna. If you're watching this on YouTube, I would love to hear your comments about something that you've changed on and something that you had a radical transformation. And if you need help with a coach, then seek one out because usually transformation, you might need help for that. It doesn't always happen on its own. You might need some help. All right, well, listen, um, uh, if you're watching on iTunes, we'd love for you to subscribe and rate and review so that you can, you know, get the episodes as they come about. Thanks again for listening. And until next time, namaste.